Enthalpy is an extensive property, which just means that it depends on the amount of material you have. So if you have a thermochemical equation, the delta H value that goes along with it actually means a couple of different things. So you have to look at it in terms of the whole equation. The whole equation says one mole of glucose plus six moles of oxygen react and produce six moles of carbon dioxide and six moles of water, and they release 2,803 kilojoules worth of energy. In this case, since it's a combustion reaction, it would release it in the form of heat. And what this means is, for every one mole of glucose, you release 2,803 kilojoules. For every six moles of oxygen, you release that amount. And for every six moles of carbon dioxide you produce, you release that amount. So this really means you can write a series of ratios in the form of 2,803 kilojoules divided by the number of moles of reactants or products. So in this case, you could say one mole of C6H12O6 or 2,803 kilojoules are released for every six moles of oxygen or 2,803 kilojoules are released for every six moles of CO2 or six moles of water or whatever. And since you can set up these ratios, you can use them effectively as mole ratios, just like we would when we're doing any type of stoichiometric calculation. So if you have one mole of glucose, you release 2,803 kilojoules, but if you have 0.7 moles of glucose, how much heat do you actually release? Well, you do it exactly the same way you would do any other stoichiometric calculation. You take your data, 0.7 moles of glucose, so C6H12O6, and you multiply it by 2,803 kilojoules, for every one mole of glucose. And your glucose is canceled, and you're left with the amount of heat that's released for 0.7 moles. And that turns out to be negative 1.96 times 10 to the 3 kilojoules when you take into account the significant figure. So we can actually do the same kind of thing in reverse, where we have an equation of glucose plus 6 oxygens gives you 6 CO2 and 6 waters, and it releases heat. We can say that if you react CO2 and water, you require heat. You can write the reaction in reverse. And if you write the reaction in reverse, now the reaction requires heat, so the delta H is positive. So if we want two moles of oxygen to be produced and we want to find out how much heat that requires, we simply set up a stoichiometric relationship just like we would any other time. So we say we have two moles of O2 that we want to make, and we need 2,803 kilojoules for every six moles of oxygen. Our oxygens cancel, and we are left with 934 kilojoules. This time it's positive, and we require that 934 kilojoules.